I think I might have caused my finger to start bleeding again. Wow, voice crack. Uh, anyway, that was that was awkward. <laughs> uh, hello YouTube, this is Sonic TKK here, and welcome back to another uh, Love 2D programming tutorial for Love 0 0.9.0. .0. As I mentioned in the last tutorial, I started programming, or I started using, doing this series again in 0.9.0 .0 because um, a lot of things changed and I wanted to start the series again and work on some other projects. But anyway, welcome back, and in this tutorial we are going to talk about uh, something that happened in the last tutorial with text input and um, uh, key press and key released and what changed and stuff like that. So, in the last tutorial you may have uh, known that I put in the argument unicode here and I got an error. Not because I spelled it wrong, even though I spelled it wrong there. It was because that in 0.9.0 .0, it changed and text input now returns the UTF-8 uh, encoded unicode. Encoded unicode. <sighs> Funny. Uh, basically this uh, text input text. This is the Unicode. This is the same as the Unicode argument that was once returned in key pressed, but is now in love to text input. So if I say B, let's say key B, Unicode char is B, and it says key B there again for some reason. I think that's because of another argument that is uh, key repeat. Sorry about that. I just had to go and uh, do some stuff, and I also took a drink. But you don't really want to hear about that. Uh, I also typed this. It was key repeat. I thought I was recording, but it wasn't. Um, anyway, key repeat and now it takes the argument is repeat, and this basically just checks to see if the key if um, key repeat is enabled. Basically, it'll say if uh, repeat is enabled and uh, key repeat is is repeat. There we go. Local is repeat uploading. Oh, can't concatenate that apparently. Anyway, uh, we'll print it separately then. Print is repeat equals is repeat. We'll build this. Why does it not? Oh, if we why don't we just say this? We'll do this, and we will press keys. False because key repeat is false. That's what this is, by the way. It's just saying that key repeat is false because we have not enabled key repeat. And key repeat, in case you don't know, is basically just setting whether we can hold in a key and it will keep printing it out. So up here, what we can say is um, love that keyboard, which is uh, loves keyboard module. This is basically how we monitor key input. Like is down will be for uh, if a button is down, you wouldn't use key press. But we'll get into that in a second, and then we can say um, set key repeat. I think if uh, in zero point eight point zero, there's a problem with this, but it was, it, this has been fixed now, as far as I know. True. And then if we say Press D, loading true, key D, Unicode key is D, I assume, oh no, that is not right, um, it's not printing out whether it's repeat or not, why is it not printing out whether it's repeat? It's not printing out whether it's repeat or not, did I delete it? I must have deleted it, oh, print is repeat. I don't remember deleting it. But anyway, there we go. Uh, false. Huh. Strange. Hold on. Ah, I found out the problem. This is returning whether the event is, was a key repeat, but key repeat has to be enabled so that this will work. So if key repeat is not enabled, then we can't have a repeat event, but this will return whether we are holding in the key and the key can be repeated. So if the key cannot be repeated, then of course you can uh, do whatever you would like with that. What is that I'm hitting against? Oh, that's my screw shoes that are banjaxed. Oh my god, I moved them and they fell. Anyway, yeah, so... 
what we do is if I hold down D and then let go and quit, as you can see here, it's returning true because um, the, that was a repeat event. Sorry, I just had to take a drink. <laughs> Very thirsty. That's because I had pizza. But anyway, uh, you don't really want to hear about that. You're here to learn about programming. So that is why uh, there was that problem. Yeah, so hopefully that is everything covered. This returns the Unicode. This returns whether the key is a repeat event. And to get it to return whether it's a key repeat event or not, you need the enabled key repeat up here. This is how you access the keyboard. This is basically saying, all right, we want to access the love module, okay? And we want to get the keyboard module. The keyboard module lets us access things within the keyboard. It lets us get input and lets us check things about the keyboard. It basically, it's what's known as an interface in programming. It basically lets us interface with the keyboard or talk to the keyboard get and send, get, receive and send information to the keyboard. So just set you repeat. Yeah, Nuff can access this via SDL, but I think a lot of, um, a lot or almost all the graphic stuff is now handled by OpenGL and the audio is handled by OpenAL, not SDL. Well, I think SDL might use OpenAL, but anyway, that's not for this tutorial because we're not talking about audio. The next thing we need to cover is, excuse me, conf.lu. Let's make a new file and call it conf.lu. Now this needs to be in the same directory as main.lu. Because whenever your game is run, uh, main.lu will look for conf.lu. We need to set another love callback here. Love.conf love and takes a, arg, a argument t. t is basically, I think it stands for table. And this is basically how we access or set all our configurations. Um, for our love application. If you can't tell, conf means um, configuration, config, whatever. t dot string dot width equals uh, 1280 t dot string dot height equals 720. This will basically make our game 720p. This means 720p. Uh, it might it might just hit the corners of your screen if you're running on a 13 inch uh, laptop for me it does and love likes the center of the window but yeah you can set this to whatever you want you can set this to any number of values it doesn't have to be a certain resolution let me say t dot title equals my amazing game in love 0 0.9.0 with an exclamation mark since i love my exclamation marks and it still says untitled why does it still say untitled? Maybe it's t dot. I think it is actually t dot window. Yeah, it's t dot window. Yeah, my amazing game and loves zero point nine zero. This is actually t dot window changed from t dot screen. I I can never remember what one it is. But yeah, it's t dot window now because now I love has a separate module called window, uh, and that handles all that stuff. So some stuff that would have been in graphics before, such as love graphics that set mode. Is now in love.window.set mode. Love.window.get title, love.window.set title, love.window.get full screen. There are some uh, methods or functions added specifically to the window module in love 0 0.9.0. I think this makes everything more organized. Another thing you want to be able to set is t.resizable equals true. It's t.resize. Or no t dot window dot resizable. Yes, t dot window dot resizable, and this will basically allow our game to resize. We can resize it like this, boom, 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 boom. And if you're running an OS ten, you can use the full screen button. Hopefully, this is still recording. I think it is. So you can full screen and then go like this. You can resize it to any resolution you want. And then here, of course, you can see new window width and new window height. I set back to these. This is this was the resolution whenever I full not full, well sort of full screened it to the the whole window. And then like I was pretty close to eighteen or eight hundred by six hundred. Very like that was the last one I set. Very very close. I want to try and get it as close as possible, but really knowing a lot. But anyway, this is just a few things that you'll want to set in your love.conf. There is a full list of uh, modules, or not modules, but a few a full list of everything that you can configure in 
uh, love today, which can be found here. Here you can see function love.conf which takes t, and this is all you can enable all the modules that you want here. Some of these I don't even understand what they do, but a lot of them I understand. I'm not entirely sure what this does. Standard full screen or desktop full screen mode. Uh, T.window dot full screen sets full screen. And then window width if windows are sizable. Min width. So this is basically setting a uh, minimum width and minimum height. You get set that to 800 by 600. Here's be sizable. Borderless. Borderless is very very interesting. T dot window dot border. True. If it works. Yes. Look at this. Look at this. This is like crazy sauce. Like oh my god. Look at that. That is crazy. Like look. You can just you can literally lose the window. So it's gone. Bam. I just I find that very interesting. It's it's interesting for some games, but then you have to use command Q or set your own shortcut to close it. You can't disable love that file system mandatory. Then it goes for the love module itself, love that graphics, and love that window need to be enabled. Even though you can like disable this here, I'm not sure why. Uh, yeah. This. These were some things that were added in 0.9.1, but you can get all these and you can um, mess about with them, see what happens whenever you change some of them. Yeah, let's actually mess about with uh, min width and min height. You dot window dot min width equals 800. You dot window dot min height equals 600. Then. We can't resize it any smaller than that. We can resize it bigger, but we can't make it smaller. And you also can't drag the windows since there's no border. I really don't know how this would look on Windows or Linux, but I assume it would look something similar on if you have something on the screen. Right now it's just a black box. A fun little black box. Yeah, like the physics module, for example, you can disable that. That, I think, will decrease the size of your game or the uh, overhead of your game, rather. Uh, any modules you're not using, like timer or system, if you're not going to use those, system modules very interesting. It lets you access in, or interface with a lot of things uh, system uh, specific. Timer, uh, I wouldn't. I've, I've never used timer, nor have I used system, but I haven't used love in a long time. Sound, never used. I don't think event we've used an image we will be using. So yeah, it's just a good way to decrease overhead of your game. Love.conf is very, very powerful and very, very useful, and you'll be using a lot. Trust me. Let's just make this true. I really, really like these. I actually didn't know these existed until a couple of days ago, but these are awesome. These will save your life. Anyway, that is it for this tutorial. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I will have a link to all the, the pages I referenced in the description, so check them if you would like to see them. And also, I'm working on a website soon, so I'll probably have a link to that in the description if the website is ready. Uh, so if you're watching this maybe in the future and the website is ready, then you can see it down there in the description. But anyway, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please leave a like and subscribe for more tutorials. Share it with your friends if you think they'll find it interesting, if they really want to get into game development. With Lua, of course, tell them they'll have to learn Lua and, you know, if, if you want, you can, of course, always suggest my tutorials. I, I won't argue with that. Intent. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. My name is Sanatikake and I will see you in the next tutorial.